These two cone fountains have been sitting in the back of my truck now for a few weeks. Um, some of you may remember that video I did on Mauna Loa versus the crack cone cane to show the difference. Um, there's a lot of things about cone fountains that are a little misleading. There you go. Um, so let's just get this open real quick. So you can see here that the entire cone is not actually full. It goes about halfway down, sometimes not even halfway, which is really ridiculous when they cut it off like right here, um, which I've definitely seen that before too. So let's just go ahead. We're gonna talk about this a little more, but I'm gonna cut this off and show you something. If it'll cut, I may have to fast forward this part. Okay, so here is Mauna Loa in real life. Now, look at all this wasted cardboard here. So a lot of times what firework companies will do is they will mislead their customers on how big a product actually is by using spacing methods, um, cardboard methods, and this is an example of the empty cardboard method. Now, a fountain like this is still gonna sell. You know, if I walk into a fireworks store, I'm gonna buy this just because of how heavy this is. Even without the composition in here, because we already lit it, it's still super heavy. I'd probably say about three pounds. Um, so why is this here? Well, well, you gotta think about it like this. When the average customer walks into a fireworks store, they're gonna see this, and they're not like you and I, so they don't see the bigger picture. So when they see something like this, they think that the fountain starts here and literally goes all the way down to the bottom. And believe it or not, some people buy into this. And you can see it here with crack cone cane. Look at all the clay in there. So this fountain actually started right here. So there's crack cone cane. Um, and these used to be much better. But anyway, what happens is you know, they see something like that and they're gonna buy it because it looks huge. Um, me personally, I think that the firework companies would save a ton of money if they didn't do this and just did this instead. Because then you got the people in the store that are gonna pick this up and go, holy cow, this is heavy. And they might just buy it that way. Um, I don't know if we can cut into the actual top portion because it looks like there is some sort of lining on there that's not cardboard. Um, not going to be able to get that open, but there you go. There's Mona Loa and crack cone cane is like right here. So, um, I just think it's kind of funny that they do that. But then again, I can see why it's actually smart for sales. It sales in general. This is smart, but to not the typical consumer like you and I, um, this is something that just is kind of embarrassing. So just figured I would show you that. But regardless of how they do it, the, both these items are really good. You know, this one shot up about 35 feet, maybe a little higher, but it didn't do it for that long. Now, I feel like if they filled this even further, it would have probably lasted a lot longer and shot a lot higher. Uh, but I don't know the limits. I think, um, I think these are limited to like 50 grams, but I'm not 100% sure. Because um, I have seen some 500 gram fountains before, but I've never seen a 500 gram cone fountain and Mauna Loa may be one of those. But all right, hope you guys enjoyed.